right. So have you ever felt like family vacations are like 90% just fighting for breathing room? Yeah. Or like campgrounds are either they're booked a year in advance or they're like a million miles from the water. It's always a compromise, right? You want to be out in nature. Ugh, yeah. Yeah. So get this. There's this new thing. It's called Tear Float. And it could be the answer, I think, to both of those problems and a lot more. Yeah, it's definitely got people talking. What's interesting is it takes something we all know, tents, and it just flips the script. Literally, they're designed for the water just as much as land. Okay, so we're not talking about, like, a flimsy raft with a tarp thrown over it, right? Like, okay. the, give us the details. What is this thing? It's, like, really tough, inflatable. Think like those... uh rafts that you know like whitewater rafters use but they're engineered in the shape of a tent wow it's made for long term so use. you could like live on this thing yeah potentially yeah yeah okay now i'm really interested who's the target audience is this just for like you know hardcore survivalists or no not at all and i think that's part of what makes it so clever it appeals to like a surprisingly wide range of people actually <laughs> hunters for example hunter okay now explain that to me because i don't yeah so picture this instead of like you know trudging through marshes to find a good spot you just float there oh okay it's like a mobile blind or a fishing platform yeah and you're not disrupting the environment as much either okay yeah that makes a lot more sense so it's that it's that efficiency right it's that gear that makes life easier which i can definitely get behind what about beyond hunting though so remember that vacation dilemma we were talking about picture this your family's at the lake house but it's crowded right mm -hmm. tear float basically becomes an extra bedroom right on the water. Okay, so that solves the whole, like, who gets the squeaky pull-out couch yeah. <laughs> argument. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then during the day, it can be a hangout spot, a place to swim out to. So it's adaptable, which is really useful in those situations. So it's like a multi-tool for, like, outdoor living. And speaking of multi-tools, I got to ask about boat owners. This has got to be up their alley, right? Oh, 100%. Imagine oh. no more cutting your trip short to find a place to dock you know, for the night. It's like a floating base camp. Oh, nice. You can explore all day, different spots. And when you're ready, you just drop anchor and you're good. Okay, that's really cool. So it's like having a portable island. I can already see the Instagram envy. But how stable are these things? I love the idea of sleeping under the stars, but I don't want to wake up like, you know, five miles down river. It's a good question. From what I've read, they're designed with stability in mind. Mm -hmm. They've got multiple air chambers, mm -hmm. you know, strong anchors. It's not going to just float away if there's a slight breeze. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Okay, so we've covered hunters, vacationers, boaters. Mm. Who else is excited about this, this tear float? Well, this is where things get really interesting, I think, from a business side of things. Campground owners are really starting to pay attention, and it could be a real game changer for the industry. Okay, so listeners, we're about to dive into the business side of tear float, and believe me, it is just as interesting as the product itself stick with us. So campgrounds, you know, they always want to expand and offer more, especially waterfront. But actually building things like cabins and stuff, right? It takes forever, it's super expensive, and a lot of times it's bad for the environment, you know, permits and all that. So you're saying this tear float is like the the eco-friendly just plop it down kind of solution. Exactly. Imagine a campground, but instead of cabins by the lake, it's these tear floats just bobbing out there. Oh, that's cool. I like it. They can fit way more people without having to build anything permanent. Yeah, that's really smart and probably way more appealing to people who are into that whole leave no trace thing, you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. and it plays into this whole trend. People want experiences now. They don't want to just stay at a, a campground. They want something they can tell their friends about, you know? Right, something Instagrammable for sure. Okay, so it's not just practical. It's got that cool factor. This is going to be huge for the whole glamping crowd, right? Oh yeah, big time. Glamping's all about comfort and nature, and Terrafloat nails both. You get to be right on the water, but like in a good way, not a soggy tent kind of way. Yeah, no more waking up to a puddle. Okay, I can see it. You're waking up. The lake's all misty, coffee in hand. Not bad. But from a business side, besides just being trendy, what's the advantage? Well, think about it. Regular cabins, campsites, that's a huge investment up front. With this, they can change how many they have depending on if it's busy or not. They don't have to spend as much money. So it gives them way more flexibility. Exactly. And they can get a whole new type of customer. People yeah. who wouldn't normally go camping might actually be into this. So bigger market for them. Okay, I get how it's good for businesses. But what about normal people? 
Is this something anyone can afford or is it super expensive? That's the big question, right? Mm -hmm. Right now they're a little pricey, but that's how it always is with new tech. Once they make more of them, the price should go down. Hopefully, because I'm already kind of wanting one. But before I get ahead of myself, we got to talk about the downsides uh -huh. too, right? Right. It's one thing to chill on it for a weekend. It's another if you're out there for a week on a fishing trip. Exactly. And then there's logistics too. Like, how do you even move this thing? Where do you put it when you're not using it? Stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. Good point. It's easy to get caught up in the hype, but you got to think practically too, especially if it's going to cost you. For sure. And, you know, there's something else that we haven't really talked about yet, rules and stuff. Oh, right, like permits and things. Yeah, exactly. Lakes and rivers, they all have different regulations, what you can and can't do, even where you can, like drop your anchor. So you're saying I can't just, like, set up shop anywhere, I feel like. Yep. There's definitely going to be a learning curve, you know figuring that all out. It's still early days for this whole thing, so. Right, I bet that's a whole other thing for campgrounds to figure out too, all the paperwork. Oh, definitely. But it could be good in a way, like if this TerraFlow thing really takes off, they might have to rethink some of those rules, maybe even make new ones that are better for the environment. Oh, interesting. So it's not just changing how people vacation, it could change how we think about those areas in general, how we use them. Right, exactly. And that's what's really cool, I think. It's not just a tent on the water. It's a whole different way of being in nature and hopefully a better one in the long run. I'm all for that. So big picture, let's say this thing takes off, it's durable, people can afford it, and they figure out all the rules. What does that future look like? Well, if I had to guess, I think it could be huge. Not just vacations, but like how we use waterfronts, period. Imagine like little floating communities. Or... Scientists could use them to study stuff without disturbing anything. Okay, now you're just going full sci-fi on me. Yeah. Floating cities. Hey, you never know. That's true. That's true. Well, this tear float thing has definitely given us a lot to think about. It's not every day you find a product that could, like, totally change how we do things. Totally agree. And it shows that sometimes the best ideas are the simplest ones. Just got to look at things a little differently. Exactly. It makes you wonder what else is out there. What other simple idea could change the game? But I guess that's a deep dive for another day. Definitely. Until then, keep exploring and thanks for listening.